My first experience with uh, a UFO report, personal experience that is, was when one of the crews returned and said that they saw a bogey, that's what they called them, up there that was uh, moving at high speed at higher altitude than they could fly. And uh, the crews later, I found out, that often they often referred to them as, as enemy aircraft or Russian aircraft, but usually bogeys. And they tried to describe it, but it moved at, at faster speeds than anything we had. We didn't have jet airplanes then. Later, we measured one that was flying 7,000 miles an hour, measured it on radar. So these clearly exceeded any of our capabilities in 1940s, any capabilities of anybody in the world in 1947. On an average of about twice a month, I would get some kind of a UFO report, and they would see the circular craft, sometimes close, sometimes far, sometimes more than one. I remember uh, a crew describing one sitting on the, on the ice pack, and this is something we couldn't do. We didn't have any way to land up there. And they seemed to be operating in airspace without a visible support base. It took a fantastic base for us to maintain the B-29s, just to support them flying in the Arctic. I even had one crew describe one that they saw underwater that surfaced, rose off the water, and flew away. Now, this clearly exceeded any design capabilities that we knew of in the world. The B-29s flying these reconnaissance missions were equipped with a variety of cameras. At various times, they got pictures of these UFOs seen in the Arctic airspace on various of the cameras and sometimes on all of the cameras. At least this is what they reported. I never got to see any of it because we took the film cartridges out, packed it in the box, and shipped it off to Washington, to Andrews Air Force Base, where the officer was met by Pentagon intelligence and taken someplace. I never got any feedback in any of this. I never heard what they developed out of it. But the stories were fantastic. We are showing you this film at one half its original speed. This unidentified flying object was photographed by James Waters. Toward the middle of the extreme right of the frame, you'll see a second UFO that appears briefly. As we slow the film, you can see that the UFO appears to change shape from frame to frame. object photograph was flying at a faster speed than any conventional jet fighter can achieve at this low altitude. Now you will see the Colorado film at its original speed five times in rapid succession. Janeiro para a vitória no Espírito Santo. Oh, são quatro bolas, ó, dá para ver quatro bolas. Veja bem, o objeto voador brilha muito e desaparece. 
E cada vez que volta, parece que se multiplica. Lá no Paraná, e uma A luz ficou no céu de Casimiro de Abreu por pelo menos uma hora e meia. O objeto voador foi visto por dezenas de motoristas que passavam pela BR-101. Aqui que dá para There are strange things, things. It can be, you know, cars. Because you see two lights that turn into one. You see six, seven lights that turn together to one. Funny, we didn't feel afraid. We were just very excited. As a matter of fact, I remember myself saying, come, 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 get closer, get closer. Because I really wanted to experience more. Tremendous excitement, like we, we were expecting it to land and come and, and talk to us. We were just looking at that and saying, whoa, look at that. <laughs> Now this is nothing new for the people in Rama. They claim they communicate with the aliens all the time. Not through words, through mental telepathy. They say these aliens live in our solar system and have been watching us for years. And they say the aliens have a special message for us Earthlings. You've heard it before. It's the one about how we're destroying the Earth and each other. Похоже, прописался в Бельгии надолго. Сообщения о нем поступают очень часто. Это только одно из многочисленных свидетельств, но их столько, что они однозначно подтверждают: да, явление существует. А вот дальше начинаются гипотезы, предположения, исследования, фантазии, наконец. Но никакого столь же однозначного ответа на многие вопросы. Что это такое? Сотворено ли оно разумом или нет? Наше оно или инопланетное? Кто или что внутри? Какова цель их появления? Какова их природа? И каково, наконец, их влияние на Землю и на нас с вами? Скептикам может показаться, что НЛО снимают лишь где-то там за границей. Для них несколько наших сюжетов. Another section of the film where photographer Newhouse changed exposure. Weather conditions together with the persistence and motion of the formations eliminate the possibility of atmospheric mirages. Photogrammetric experiments have shown that the images cannot be associated with any kind of birds at any distance. Stop. 
Now forward again. Stop. We drop back to original perspective. Now once again, and for the last time, the Utah film. The objects cannot be associated with any known balloon observation. This one from Guatemala have kept investigators busy for years. The physical evidence says unidentified flying objects do exist.
the Marfa Lights. object similar to the one Joe photographed was taken by Harold Trudell, a former observer for the Civil Air Patrol. Harold's close encounter took place in a wooded area of Cumberland. Coming in from my left, which would have been the east, and heading west, I seen this object and I immediately picked up my uh, camera and focused in on it. And it appeared uh, like a cigar shape, and it didn't, have, it didn't make any noise uh, of any kind. And the object that I've seen on there, I feel very strongly that uh, uh, it doesn't come from uh, this world. It's a flying object and say there were no weather balloons and no aircraft in the area. It's an unidentified flying object and say there were no weather balloons and no aircraft in the area. The strange object reportedly flashed red and blue lights while spinning like a top. Japanese authorities said no planes or other known flying objects were in the area of the UFO. Oh. The strange object reportedly flashed red and blue lights while spinning like a top. Japanese authorities said no planes or other known flying objects were in the area.
you are seeing an unidentified flying object. It is not a hoax. It is real. The film was taken by Leland Hansen while filming Catalina Island from a helicopter. Mr. Hansen was a professional photographer working for the United States Navy. This film has been examined by photographic experts. Photographic analysis reveals that this circular UFO was about 30 feet in diameter and was traveling between 130 and 170 miles per hour. It has no wings, no tail section, and no visible means of propulsion. Mr. Hansen also observed this object hovering stationary in the air before it began to move. <laughs> 